Hey guys, what's up? We're, we're, uh, we're chilling on the couch today and I want to do a video with you guys going over something, uh, a very cool story with you guys. Uh, you know, it's one of my most famous stories, uh, one of Eddie G's favorite stories and um, it obviously has to do with the gym and it was about a, um, what would we call it, a confrontation or altercation, a verbal altercation. I guess that's the right terminology. Um, I was at the gym lifting and I was pumped up. I was doing shoulders, doing a little bit of chest, doing a little bit of shoulders. And of course, there's this guy there, the insecure lifter who has to give advice to everybody just to prove that he has somewhat knowledge in, this, in, the, in the bodybuilding world because he truthfully is just a deep down fat insecure fuck and he has to pick apart other people to hide his insecurity. So, of course, I was targeted because I was pumped up, round up shoulders, big chest at the time. And uh, he comes up to me and he says, you know, you got to work your rear delts and work your incline. And that's it. That's what, he walk that's what he walked up and said. Obviously, he would say hi to me every now and then. But this time he walked up and says, you got to work your rear delts and incline and laughed and walked away. Now, if he walked up and constructively criticized me, it would have been a little bit differently. Like, dude, you know, you look great. And he, you know, you look great. Um, you know, maybe you should work this a little bit more. And I've been such an asshole about it. I may, may have taken it in a different way, but he walked up, he fucking put me down, and he walked away. The nice guy that I am, I ignored it. All right, the first time I ignored it, I let it slide. I said, you know, this guy's just fucking insecure about himself. You know, he's going to pick me apart, but I ain't going to fucking soup down to his level and pick him apart. But sure enough, a week later, he says the same thing to me. You know, this time I, 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 I couldn't take it. You know, I said, you know, if he's going to fucking pick me apart like that again, I'm going to fucking say something. So I did. He said, listen, man, you got to work that rear, you got to work the rear Dallas, you got to work that inclined chest and laughed again and did the same thing. So I fucking, I waited two seconds. I said, you know what? I'm going to say something back to this guy. I said, yeah, you got to do more cardio. And he's like, what? He's like, do more cardio, I'm 15% body fat. I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't look it. Like, I actually said that to him. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't look it. And all of a sudden, things were heated for the next 10 minutes. The next 10 minutes, we were the only two people in the section, and he, like, did not know what to do because I fired back at him, and I fucking picked him apart like he did to me. You know, he threw rocks because he was living in a glass house. So I'm sitting there, I'm standing there curling now. I started doing biceps because I was just pumped. I didn't really give a fuck. I'm like, I'm going to do some biceps now. I want to fucking hit my arms. I'm pumped now. And he's standing there and he comes up to me. He's like, you know, I wasn't trying to put you down. I was trying to help you out. I'm like, help me out. That, like that? Dude, you put me right down. I'm like, how old are you? He's like, I'm 36. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking 18 years old. I'm half your age. Stop picking someone apart who's half your age, you know? And like, I really said that to him. Like, I said that right to his face. I said, stop, you know, picking someone apart who's half your age, man. Like, Fucking compare yourself with someone else. If I was 36, would I be walking up to an 18-year-old trying to compare myself with them? No. Like, dude, get your fucking shit together, bro. Big Ed was there. <laughs> hey. Do it, do it, do it. That's all, folks. <laughs> I'm telling the jabroni story. I wasn't there. Well, you heard the story, right? I heard the story. So long story short, short he stood there. And from that on point, we did not talk to each other for about a year and a half until I was um, bench pressing and he walked over and he gave me a spot on his own and I think that was his way of apologizing to me and squashing the beef, which I kind of respected in a way. We're gonna stand there and be, you know what I mean? That's good, Respect. right? Respect, well, I kind of respected that in a way. I could have been like, dude, get away from me, but I guess it was both behind us. We both said something to each other and we got it off and, and then that was it. But that's the story, man. He fucking came up to me and he put me down and uh, especially when I was only in a couple of years into lifting, I was still adjusting to the surroundings, you know, getting used to everything. And it's not easy entering a gym and like getting in a tank top when there's other people around you and you're trying to be comfortable and someone walks up and puts you down. So I kind of snapped back, you know, I let it slide the first time and then I snapped back because that, that fucking asshole deserved it. He's a cool guy now though, like we get along, we both put it behind us. It's almost like two people who fought. And then they're friends after it because they settled their differences. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> um, uh, that's it. We're done here. Ah, big muscles. Feel good. <laughs>